ever since Apple announced that their iDevices wouldn't support Flash, people have been heralding the age of HTML5 as its replacement. But what about those that use Flash to animate their websites? What do they do? Well, surprisingly, Adobe may have a solution for you. Though it's by far not the best solution, Adobe has released a beta program called Edge that allows you to make animations like you would in Flash, except it renders it out as HTML5. For right now, the program is free, so I'm going to show you how you can make a simple HTML5 animation with it. Once you have it downloaded and installed, open it up and select the Create New option. This will start your new project. In the Properties panel, you can adjust the width, height, and color of the new project. And then at this point, you can start adding stuff to it, such as rectangles, rounded rectangles, or text. Just draw it out on the stage, and then you can adjust the size, color, opacity, and positioning from the Properties panel. Same thing with text. Just select it, type what you want, then set the size, color, and font settings. You'll notice that in the Elements panel, you can view and select all the different layers from within your project. This will come in handy later. If you want to import pictures, just go to File, Import, and select the picture or pictures that you want to use. You can then arrange them by position, and then if you go to Modify, you can arrange them by layer as well. Alright, now for the good stuff. You'll notice in the timeline, you have all of your stage elements with keyframes beside them. Because the stopwatch is enabled, every time we move an element, a keyframe is added. If you don't want to do that, you can just disable the stopwatch. But for now, it's just what we want. So thinking about how I want to make this animate, I want the logo to animate in first. I want it to fade in from the top over a two second span. So with it selected, I'm going to make sure keyframes are added at the beginning of the timeline for the location and opacity settings. Then I'm going to move out to the two second mark and add keyframes there too. Now scrub back to the beginning of the timeline and change the location and opacity to where you want it to start. To preview it, you can go to File, Preview and Browser to see what it'll look like on the web. Alright, next I'm going to select the text and starting at the two second mark, I'm going to add a scale keyframe and then move to the four second mark and add another. Moving back to 2 seconds, I'm going to set the scale to 0. This will make it look like it's growing in. But I also want to make it look like it's spinning as it's growing. So what I can do is select the motion tween between the two keyframes and then from the properties panel it will give me an easing option. For this I'm going to choose ease in elastic, but you can experiment and go with whatever you like best. Lastly, I'm going to have the sun rays animated in the background throughout the whole thing. So I'm going to go back to the first frame, select the sun ray image, and set a rotation keyframe. Then I'll move to the 5 second mark and change the rotation degrees to 100. This will make it spin in the background. So now you can save it wherever you want and then you can upload it to your website for everyone to see. To view my live example or to download the project files, just visit the link below. Alright, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.